Pakistan and isolating it even more on the international front for using proxies rather than diplomacy which indulge in violence. The U.S. National Security Advisor Lieutenant General H.R. McMaster is now in India. Indian NSA Ajit Doval personally hosted McMaster. Ajit Doval and his U.S. counterpart are likely to have discussed terrorism emanating from Pakistan. More formal talks between the two will take place today. McMaster will also meet Prime Minister Modi and External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj during his visit. The USA's National Security Advisor General McMaster's maiden visit to Afghanistan and Pakistan was more important for Pakistan than the USA and Afghanistan. After the operation to neutralize Osama bin Laden, the United States of America had completely lost its faith in Pakistan and during this visit, Pakistan was trying to regain its lost ground that it had lost during the former President Barack Obama's regime. Now, the National Security Advisor General McMaster's public warning to Pakistan to not use proxies that engage in violence to pursue its interests has certainly cornered Pakistan at the international forum and India will utilize it to expose Pakistan at the international forum. Ashish Singh in Delhi for News X. We hope that Pakistani leaders will understand that it's in their interest to, to go after these groups less selectively than they have in the past. And that the best way to, to pursue their interests in Afghanistan and elsewhere is through diplomacy, not through the use of proxies that engage in violence. That is one advice Pakistan will not follow. Because proxy war means a great deal to them. There's a policy of thousand cuts that could be inflicted upon India. How do they do that without proxy, without proxy war? At least that's what they're thinking is. I, I think these are only words. We welcome words which discipline Pakistan, which control Pakistan, and we welcome them. But at the end of the day, they are mere words. We have to get to action and concrete deliverables. The U.S. has made its views known in a constructive spirit without interfering with our root basic policy of bipartisanship, not trilateralism. U.S. has been consistent in giving this advice to Pakistan. Even earlier, Hillary Clinton, when she was the Secretary of State, she had visited Pakistan and rendered a similar advice that treat terrorist as a terrorist and don't uh, make a distinction between good terrorist and bad terrorist. I, I think these are only words. We welcome words which discipline Pakistan, which control Pakistan, and we welcome them. We welcome America's uh, putting pressure on Pakistan, but we want to also ask Indian government whether they have raised the issue of increasing American military and civilian aid to Pakistan, which recently happened after 10 years. It is indeed sad that government has completely failed in its onus and responsibility to raise these important policy paradigms. I, I think these are only words. We welcome words which discipline Pakistan, which control Pakistan, and we welcome them. But at the end of the day, they are mere words. We have to get to action and concrete deliverables. The U.S. has made its views known in a constructive spirit without interfering with our root basic policy of bipartisanship, not trilateralism, not trilateralism. So the U.S. National Security Advisor, Lieutenant General H.R. McMaster will have another round of talks with his Indian counterpart, Ajit Doval, today in New Delhi. He's also scheduled to meet Prime Minister Modi and External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj during his visit to India. The United Nations, uh, I beg your pardon, the United States of America has already made its stand on Pakistan very clear. It looks more and more likely that as far as the U.S. is concerned, Islamabad, definitely stands 